Hello YouTube, this is Fortnite Fails JJ, or actually JJ Fails, coming back to you with another video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And this is about Subway's tuna sandwich has no tuna DNA test fine. I have no surprise. I'm not surprised by this at all. I'm not so I have no surprises about this finding. Of course, I mean I've heard lots of food that wasn't actually the proper food. Or I heard that um KFC KFC was doing funny stuff with its chicken. Um Taco Bell wasn't a hundred percent um beef. <clears throat> All types of stuff. But let's get into the article. Tests recently done by a commercial lab have proved that no identifiable tuna DNA was found in Subway sandwiches. The news he the news Paper had 60 inches of tuna sandwiches from three different subway locations in Los Angeles tested. The tuna, in quotations, was removed, frozen, and sent to an unidentified commercial food testing lab as the chain, chain faces a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California earlier this year alleging that... <coughs> The ingredient it calls tuna actually contains no tuna at all. No amplifiable t tuna DNA was present <coughs> in the sample, and so we obtained no amplifi <coughs> amplification. Yeah, sorry. I, I got to back off. Products from the DNA, therefore, we cannot identify the species. The test results read one, it's so heavily processed that whatever we could pull out, we couldn't make an identification. A lab spokesperson said, Or we got some, and there's just nothing there that's tuna. Subway wrote an email to the newspaper denying allegations. There is simply no truth to the allegations in the complaint that was filed in California. A Subway spokeswoman wrote in the email, Subway delivers 100% cooked tuna to its restaurants. Subway, Subway which has nearly 40,000 locations worldwide, about half of which in the U.S., has said the tuna sandwiches are some of its best selling. Well, you know, um, Taco Bell was doing something similar. Um, Taco Bell was having um, possum and a bunch of other stuff in their food, and they was able to they're able to call it a hundred percent beef because there's some beef in it. So that's probably what they're doing here, or they're straight up putting a lookalike, something that um, technically can be shit like um, those those uh. Those lobsters, those that's it's not really lobster meat, fish meat, but you can actually label it that. So that's probably what Subway's doing. Anyway, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share your thoughts on the situation.